it's really unexplainable the experience you feel and the emotions you get with sailing the 45. Here we go. And three. There's a lot of risk involved in what we do. We're hitting speeds of well in excess of 40 knots. There's a lot of situations that we find ourselves in on the water by pushing these boats and um, we sometimes push them beyond what we thought we were capable of and accidents happen. We've already had one capsize. At least a half a handful of uh, nose dives a day where we get into situations that can be quite dangerous. We need every little bit of equipment on board so an emergency is to happen and a situation unfolds where it's completely out of our hands. At least we know at the end of the day we've got everything. The life vests are fully suited up. We've got a lot of padding on our life vests. Our sail racing wetsuits, uh, we have shin pads, knee guards, we have thigh pads. On top of that we, we also carry uh, two knives in case we get stuck under the net so we can cut our way out. We run oxygen bottles too that hold you know, four and a half thousand PSI, which is pretty amazing to know that you know we've got at least a good 20 breaths of air in our tanks, you know, that we carry on our back. If we go into a big bow way and we end up nose diving and uh, water comes over, I had multiple situations where the water comes over so hard it hits me in the head, and then I end up hitting the handles or hitting the side of the hull. Um, that's when these bad boys come into play. And then, you know, if we're stuck on the high side, windward side of the, the boat and she goes over, we've got harness as well. So we can always make sure that we, uh, we harness ourselves into the net um, so we don't fall from a great distance. On top of that, we've also run with comms. So we're always within communication of each other. Uh, when we race, uh, we communicate with each other the whole time where we're racing and we're training. It's nice to know that at the end of the day, we train for that and we've got the right equipment and we've got the right people on board and we've got the right guys following us around. So for my job, when we're sailing every day, I wear a small scuba cylinder on my back all the time, so I'm always ready to go. It weighs about 25, 30 pounds, but I have to be ready to go into the water anytime. I'm on uh, the first chase boat, Chase One, and we follow directly behind the yacht at all times, so we can respond immediately. And in some of our training drills with man overboard or an injured sailor, we better retrieve a, an injured patient within about a minute and 30 seconds of the incident happening back onto the boat, and by that time, they are being treated by a doctor. I think we're definitely covered. If something bad is to happen, you know, we've got each other's backs. You know, I feel really safe when I go on board. Um, you know, I've got one job at the end of the day, and that's to do the best possible job that I can do.